Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see a nose analysis question. This question is based on CSIR net December 2023 question. So, let us see the question. It is a very simple question. Ozonolysis of a terpene gives equimolar mixture of acetone, alpha hydroxy acetaldehyde and 4 oxopantanal. The correct structure of the terpene is. So, there are 4 structures that are given here and we are asked to find out the product of these terpenes which will match with that of the given question. So, let us see what is ozonolysis and how can we match up with this particular question. So, when we talk about ozonolysis, we always know that it is actually a reaction of ozone to alkenes and then across the double bond, uh, the bond cleavages happen and oxygen adds across the double bond to get the respective uh, aldehyde or a ketone. <coughs> so, here also in these options, uh, which are all terpenes, different types of terpenes, we have to look out for the double bonds, that is the alkene positions and then try to do the same kind of uh, splitting pattern that I have shown here for the regular ozonolysis reaction. So, for ozonolysis reductive oxidative workup, there is a separate video, kindly uh, watch that video for understanding the basics of ozonolysis reaction and the different types of uh, ozonolysis processes that are possible. So, in this particular question, we are just applying the concept of ozonolysis to find the answer. So, I am just uh, showing you how to look at the particular question. So, a similar question is also given as the cover question of this particular channel uh, wherein you will understand how we uh, draw these lines to show how the bonds cleave. So, I am just showing the point of cleavage of the double bonds and how oxygen atom will add to these double bonds. So, in these uh, examples that I have uh, presented here, what we see is in question number 1 and question number 2, we have a molecule which is uh, formaldehyde that is um, a double bond O. So, this uh, double bond O is uh, nothing but formaldehyde. Here also we have a double bond O which is formaldehyde. So, uh, in this particular example, formaldehyde is not given as an option. So, 1 and 2 are ruled out. Uh, actually, all questions have acetaldehyde, uh, sorry, acetone because uh, this particular bottom part, we know when it cleaves, we, what we get will be acetone. So, all of the answers have acetone in them. So, acetone cannot be considered as a clue for us to find the answer. So, the best thing is to look at the molecule and see if there is something different in it which does not match with the option that is given here. So, what we saw here was in case of 1 and 2, formaldehyde is one of the cleavage points and uh, that is not one of the options that is given here. So, 1 and 2 are ruled out. So, the remaining two options are 3 and 4. So, in 3 and 4, what we are supposed to look for is this alpha hydroxy acetaldehyde and 4 oxopentanol. So, even before solving the question itself, you can see only in this particular uh, molecule, uh, you see a hydroxy group. Whereas, in the other case, in the third case, you do not see a um, hydroxy group. Uh, but then, uh, we will solve the problem to see where the answer comes. So, uh, let us take 3 for example. So, in case of 3, what we see here is, I am just drawing the template part alone as to how the bond cleavages would have happened. This is one part. Another one is acetaldehyde that is already written. The next part is this. In case of 4, we are having this part. Then you have double bond O. Then again another double bond O and then OH. And of course, the bottom part is acetone. So, here if you could number in, in the earlier case, in the third example, we see here alpha hydroxy acetaldehyde. So, there is no uh, example where we have alpha hydroxy acetaldehyde and uh, this particular uh, carbon, if you are numbering it as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, uh, this is actually 4-oxo uh, pentanal. The same 4-oxo pentanal is also formed here. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 4 oxopentanol is formed both in 1, sorry, in 3 and 4 and the acetone is also common in 3 and 4. So, the only differentiator is this particular group. So, this group is having 
a CHO here and a CHO. Okay, this is actually this. Whereas here we have the alpha hydroxy acetaldehyde structure. Whereas this is a, a different structure altogether. So this is not having an alpha hydroxy acetaldehyde. So the correct option is 4. So this is how we solve the problem. So we need not be worried about uh, anything else when we are talking about ozonolysis. What we are supposed to look for is the double bonds and cleavage of double bonds and check the uh, al aldehydes or ketones that are formed with the ones that are given at the options. So thank you, like and subscribe to our videos.